we all put our life jackets on and got on the water and hang on to the boat while some of us um, separated from the boat. Now at five, chilling testimony from a 13-year-old boy, the lone survivor of a deadly boating accident in Bodega Bay. He shares his remarkable story of survival with KTVU as his family mourns those who are still missing. I felt like I was going to die at some point, so I just had to adventure out to find help. The family's boat capsized last week, and the search for the missing relatives is ongoing tonight. Good evening this Friday. I'm Christina Rondone. And I'm Greg Lee. 13-year-old Jalati Jude Kamakun sat down with KTVU to talk about this ordeal and how he survived thanks to the quick thinking of his father, who had him float on an ice cooler. KTVU's Ann Rubin joins us live from San Jose tonight, where the family lives, and more on this story. Ann. Yeah, the family is grieving for the five others who were on that boat when it sank, but they are so relieved that Jude made it home. There were six people aboard when the family boat capsized last weekend in Bodega Bay. 13-year-old Julati Jude Kamakun is the only known survivor. What's going through my mind is if I was going to make it, see my family ever again. The family went fishing often. It was something they loved. This time, they were kicking off crab season. But the winds picked up, and so did the waves. The boat couldn't handle it because the waves were pretty massive. They were really massive. Everyone put on life jackets. Some held onto the boat as it went nose up. Jude's dad, Prasong, had him sit inside a giant cooler. Prasong held on to it, but eventually slipped beneath the waves. Was crying and uh, yelling out for my dad so I could hear him say something again. For hours, Jude was alone in the ocean. Had to hang on tightly and let the waves just get inside the cooler and push me to the shore. And it was really cold and I was tired, so I just had to sleep on my life jacket and make do so I could live. And Eventually, he hiked to a road, a campsite, and people who called 911. His family is relieved he made it home, but grieving for the others who didn't. Among them, Jude's dad, Prasong. It's pretty sad without him. For days, rescue crews searched for the boaters. They've recovered the body of one teenager, a cousin, so far. The family is planning a vigil in Bodega Bay to grieve together. We will definitely be there to say our goodbye and, you know, just um, maybe find some closure for us, you know. The vigil will be November 16th at Westside Regional Park in Bodega Bay. The family also has set up a GoFundMe page for Prasong's wife and three children. Back to you. As your heart just breaks hearing him talk about this entire ordeal. Of course, our thoughts with the family and hopes that hopefully they get some news soon. And Ruben, live for us in San Jose, and thank you.